Alright guys, we're all Russell here, and this is going to be a special episode today. Um, I'm not going to be putting up a video in Pickups episode for a while, um, apart from the like 10 minute or 5 minute Phantom Pain episode. So I decided that I'd do a collection video, and this is going to be my wrestling DVD collection. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a, my wrestling DVD collection video. It's mostly WWE, there's like two that aren't, so it's like 90% of it are WWE. Um... Uh, I lent one to a friend, I haven't got that back yet, Shawn Michaels Heartbreaking Triumph, I'll just tell you quickly, it's great, go and buy it, it's really awesome. Um, so yeah, I should probably get into this, there's a lot, there's about 40, uh, I've got pay-per-view stacked here, and then compilations, documentaries, etc, stacked here. So let's get right into it with the first paper, I'll go over the pay-per-views first, they're in chronological order, and we have the two non-WWE pay-per-views first. So the first one is kind of WWE, because in 2006 ECW joined WWE, but this was 2005. And this is, I haven't even watched it, because I heard it's that awful. This is Hardcore Homecoming. I haven't even taken the price off, or the labels. Uh, this is supposed to be bloody awful, and from the look of it, it looks pretty bad. Uh, you've got Sabu and Terry Funk, and Shane Douglas in the three-way dance. Uh, you've got Raven and the Sandman. I love the art on the front now. I think the character art on the front is so cool. And I love Sandman right there. Because it looks cool from like an ECW standpoint. But it doesn't look great from a wrestling standpoint. Uh, you've got Just Incredible vs. Jerry Lynn. Two Cold Scorpio vs. Kid Cash. That sounds cool. Uh, they're the big ones. Tracy Smothers vs. Blue Meanie. Uh, yeah, so that's... That's it. Oh, we got Axel Rotten and Ian Rotten against Kronos and New Jack. So, I might give this a watch. I mean, it, the main event's got to be pretty cool, right? Shane Douglas, Terry Funk, and Sabu. I might give it a watch. But, um, Hardcore Homecoming. So, this was 2005. It was a, a, a reunion of all the old guys, basically. Uh, the second one is my only TNA pay per view, and that's a bit of a shame. But, um, it's a pretty good one, and I, I like it. Uh, it's TNA Bound for Glory 2009 with Sting on the cover. Two discs. Uh, the pay per view needed two discs for some reason. Uh, and the matches are as follows uh, you've got AJ Styles versus Sting for the World Heavyweight title, the TNA World Heavyweight title, which is a pretty good match. Uh, ends a bit abruptly though. Uh, you've got Matt Morgan versus Kurt Angle uh, in a TNA's best, Wrestling's Best versus Wrestling's Future. That's a fantastic match, best match of the show. Uh, Monsters Ball match, the Monster Abyss versus uh, Mick Foley with Dr. Stevie, Stevie Richards as the special guest ref. Uh, Daphne comes out as well. It's a pretty fun match. Some good spots. Uh, Daphne gets pushed for a barbed wire board. That's insane. Oh no, she gets chokeslammed for a barbed wire board. Great match. I, I think it's actually really good. Uh, but uh, Matt Morgan and Angle's the, the best match on this card. Uh, Smojo versus Bobby Lashley in a submission match. Uh, you know, you got some good stuff. You got an X Division open match, which is pretty good, which is amazing. Red. Uh, I can't see that. Uh, Chris Saban, Alex Shelley, Suicide, Daniels, and there's one more. Yeah, Suicide, Homicide. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Yeah, so TNA Bound for Glory 2009. I don't want to stay in on the name, name all the matches because some of the writing's pretty small. But um, if I can, I will. So TNA Bound for Glory 2009. It's a pretty good show. I mean, uh, the, the uh, Angle Matt Morgan match is really entertaining. Uh, all right, so I'm, I've got a drink because this might be a long video. New Zoom on shirt. Ugh. All right, so we start with. WWE, but we actually start with a WWF pay-per-view. That was awful, it just came from my mouth. And we start with WrestleMania 18. And this is WWF, you can tell, because they have the WWF logo, which is awesome. Two discs, again, which is awesome, and it comes with a WrestleMania poster. So let me list off the matches for you. You've got Undisputed WWF, uh, WWF title, Chris Jericho vs. Triple H. Uh, Jazz versus Lita versus Trish Stratus for the women's title. That's a really good triple threat match. And it sounds it from the look of it, but it is, it's really good. Uh, Rock versus Hogan, which is the show stealer, obviously. Icon versus Icon. Uh, 
Steve Austin versus Scott Hall, which is another big one, which isn't too great. Flair and Undertaker is really good. Uh, GDP and Christian for the European title. Regal and Rob Van Dam for the IC title. They're the good ones, really. So, um, WrestleMania 18. Uh, the Icon vs. Icon match is great. It's so good. Like, for a fan, it's like, oh, God, this is it's, it's so incredible from a fan's perspective. And now we jump all the way to when uh, the WWE was made. And we go to 2004 with SummerSlam 2004. You've got the two main events on the front. Undertaker versus JBL for the WWE title. And Randy Orton versus... Oh, sorry, Chris Benoit versus Randy Orton for the world title, which is a great match. Best night on the match on the card. Other than those matches, the two of the main events were uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle and Booker T versus you Booker T Triple H versus Eugene, which is rubbish. But Ed, uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle was great. Uh, what else we got? We've got a Till Death Do Us Part match: uh, Kane versus Matt Hardy. Lita had to marry the winner, uh, which is okay. Uh, first match in the best of five series, Booker T vs. John Cena, which isn't very good. Uh, triple threat match for the Intercontinental title, Edge, Batista and Chris Jericho. Um, and a six-man tag for... six, Just a six-man tag match. The Dudleys, so all three of them, against Rey Mysterio, Paul London and Brian Kendrick. And you've got Diva Dodgeball, which is okay to watch. So, um, yeah. Some Slam 04, I actually really like it. The main event is really good. It's the time when Randy Orton, when the world title mysteriously got lost. And Randy Orton found it. He found it, and Randy Orton was the youngest world champion in history. Because Randy Orton faced no one, look. Faced no one. What a shame that is. Let me pile these up. And now we move on to 2006, and this is the first wrestling pay-per-view I ever watched. I got into wrestling in 2004 when I was six, but this is the first pay-per-view I ever watched, and it's the Great American Bash 2006, and I watched this recently, and this is actually really good. Like, um, the main event match is World Heavyweight title, Rey Mysterio versus King Booker, which is not bad. Uh, you've got a Punjabi prison match, uh, Undertaker against Big Show. Which is better than the one between Carly and Batista, I'll give you that. Batista versus Mr. Kennedy, uh, it's not very good. United States, pardon me, mm. pardon me. United States title, Finley versus William Regal, it's okay. Gregory Elms versus Matt Hardy, uh, which is a really good match, uh, pretty underrated. And my favourite match of the night, WWE Tag Team Championships, Paul London and Brian Kendrick versus the Pitbulls, that's a really good tag match. And uh, finally, four-way Brian Panties match, Ashley, Gillian, Crystal, and Michelle McCall, which is what you would expect. But uh, the tag match is awesome, and Gregory Helms and uh, Matt Hardy is awesome as well. This is overall, it's actually a really good show, give it probably like an 8 out of 10. So, um, Great American Bash 2006, and I love the cover. Another pay-per-view in 2006, it was around the same time as Great American Bash. Unforgiven, and this is just as good a pay per view. Uh, the main event John Cena versus Edge in a TLC match for the WWE title, where John Cena gives him the FU through two tables, or as it's called now, the AA, you know, because PG. Uh, my favourite match of the show was Trish Stratus against Lita for the women's title. That is my favourite women's match still of all time. I absolutely love it. Insane match. Uh, you've got the McMahons, so Shane and Vince and Big Show against DX in a Hell in a Cell match, in a Hell in a Cell, which is pretty entertaining. And they're the big ones. Um, Carly and Randy Orton. It's an one for you. It's a pretty good show though. I think mean, the main event's great. The women's title match is great, and um, Carly and Orton's okay. That's the first time he actually really ever hit the RKO out of nowhere. So you know it's pretty cool for that. All right, so. Alright, now we move on to 2007, which is one of the weakest years in WWE of recent memory. And I have probably more 2007 pay-per-views than I actually do of any other, I think. So, um, I think so. No, no, I don't. I only have four. Oh, tragic. Uh, we start off with one of the better ones, and that's Royal Rumble. This is a pretty good show. Uh, it's a steel book, so the match is not on the back, so I have to open it. I remember all anyway, to be honest. Uh, so you have... Uh, you have the Hardy Boys against Eminem, 
which is a pretty solid tag match. Uh, then you had Bobby Lashley versus Test for the ECW title. That sucks. That's rubbish. Batista versus Mr. Kennedy for the World Heavyweight title. I really think Mr. Kennedy should have won. But um, it was a pretty good match. I enjoyed it. Uh, then you go to John Cena versus Omaga for the WWE title in a last man standing match. That to me is Omaga's best WWE match ever. And finally, the Royal Rumble, which was um, awesome. But the last 10 minutes were great. Shawn Michaels and Undertaker was like a precursor to WrestleMania 25 and 6. And um, a special feature you get a Raw match, which is Radar KO against uh, John Cena and Michaels for the World Tag Team titles. So that's awesome. Pretty good, actually. So, Royal Rumble 2007. Now we move on to a not-so-good pay-per-view. Uh, One Night Stand 07. 2007. So, the main events were uh, McMahon and Bobby Lashley in a street fight for the ECW title, which isn't bad. John Cena and Carly in a false car anywhere for the WWE title. And Edge and Batista in a World Heavyweight title steel cage match. But the match of the night is the Hardys against the World's Greatest Tag Team and a ladder match for the tag titles, obviously. It's a great match. So, yeah, One Night Stand 2007. It's nothing too special. Oh, God. Not even halfway through. Alright, Vengeance Night of Champions 07. This is the event that Chris Benoit doesn't turn up for and... Johnny Nitro got swapped for him, and Chris Benoit would have won the ECW title if he'd been in this match. He would have won the ECW title, and the Benoit chance I heard, and it actually kind of makes me cry when I watch it back, because, ah, oh man, this is the event where Chris Benoit was not there, and we all know why he wasn't there, because he was, he was, you know what he was doing. Um, yeah, God, like, seriously. Um... Let me just talk about the event. So, ECW title, Johnny Nitro versus... Was it John Morrison yet? No, it was still Johnny Nitro, apparently. Johnny Nitro versus CM Punk. Uh, WWE Championship Challenge. So, this was like a, a, basically a six-pack challenge or five-pack challenge. John Cena, Bobby Lashley, Mick Foley, Randy Orton and King Booker. Which is fairly predictable. And World Heavyweight title, Edge and Batista. So, nothing too special on there. Uh, the best match on there is probably... I don't know, none of them are too great, really. Uh, best match on there, I don't... Uh, I don't know. Maybe... I'd say... Probably the Championship Challenge. That's... Yeah, so Vengeance 07, it's famous because the Benoit chance. Last pay-per-view from 2007, and this one's not bad, actually. It's probably one of the better ones again. Uh, it's Armageddon 07, with Batista on the cover. I hate the cover. Uh, it sucks. Uh, the main events were WWE title, Randy Orton vs. Chris Jericho, which is good, and then ends in a disqualification, which I hate. Uh, World Heavyweight title, Triple Threat match, Undertaker, Edge, and Batista. It's pretty good. Um... And the other main event was the winner gets a WWE title match, uh, Triple H and Jeff Hardy, which is probably the match of the night, and then Shawn Michaels and Mr. Kennedy, which is another match of the night contender. But there's some real, like, rubbish on this event. Finlay and Great Carly, Big Daddy V and Mark Henry against CM Punk and Kane. So, yeah, Shawn Michaels and Kennedy is probably the match of the night. Moving on to 2008, I have a few of these again, and the first one is Night of Champions 08. The main events were uh, WWE title Triple H and John Cena, it was like a rematch from WrestleMania 22, but this time Triple H won. Uh, World Heavyweight title Batista and Edge, that WWE title match is pretty good. Uh, Edge and Batista for the World Heavyweight title, which is pretty good. Uh, Women's title Mickey James and Katie Lee Birchall, does everyone remember her? Like, Christ. Uh, and probably the best match of the night was Intercontinental title, Chris Jericho and Kofi Kingston. So, now Champions away. It was pretty good. Pretty good show. A show that was, like, one of the more, like, mediocre SummerSlams, even though it's got, like, a great match on it, was SummerSlam 08. It had two big line matches, and the WWE World title, like, pushed down the card because of these big matches. 
Uh, they had four main events, though, and I think that's probably a good thing. Uh, it had, as main events, WWE Championship, Triple H versus The Great Carly, uh, which is uh, rubbish. Uh, World Heavyweight title, JBL versus CM Punk, which is pretty good. I mean, it's all right. It's pretty good, actually. No, it's decent, actually. I'm, I'm, it's pretty good. I mean, give me, like, three stars. Uh, and then... John Cena versus Batista, which is the first time they squared off, which was underwhelming. But I guess it's those guys, so I wasn't really expecting. I guess the star power didn't shine either. So, but the main event, of course, is the show stealer, the Hell in a Cell match with uh, Edge and Undertaker. It's great, awesome Hell in a Cell match. Edge spears him through the cell. Taker choke slams him off a ladder through the ring. It's a great match. Love it. Uh, overall, the event's like a 6 out of 10 because, you know, there's a lot of mediocrity. Even though, probably my second favourite match is actually MVP versus Jeff Hardy. It's a really, it's a pretty good match. So, SummerSlam 08. I, I paid like £2 for that. I'm actually really happy. Uh, next, 2008 pay-per-view is miles better, in my opinion. Uh, do I only have... Yeah, I do have four 08 pay-per-views. It's 09 where I have a few more. Uh, okay, <sighs> Unforgiven away. Uh, this had three championship scrambles, of course. The ECW championship scramble, which was Mark Henry, Matt Hardy, Finlay, The Miz, and Chavo. Probably the weakest of the three championship scrambles. Uh, then you've got the unsanctioned match, Shawn Michaels and Jericho. That's great. I love that match. Uh, WWE championship scrambles were the best one with Triple H, Jeff Hardy, MVP, Sheldon Benjamin, and Brian Kendrick. It features seven pinfalls, and one of them goes to Brian Kendrick. MVP and Sean Benjamin don't get a pinfall. It goes three for Hardy, three for Triple H. Spoiler, I haven't spoiled anything, but I have to kind of spoil this. Three for Jeff Hardy, three for Triple H, and one for Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick was WWE champion at one point. And the main event, of course, the World Heavyweight Championship Scramble. Batista, Rey Mysterio, Kane, JBL, and Chris Jericho, who was filling in for CM Punk, who was punted. Sorry, spoiler. But it says in the back of the case anyway. So, um, unforgiving away. It's not a bad pay-per-view, actually. I think this one's pretty good. I mean, it's really, really watchable. I've watched this one a few times. Uh, the championship scramble for the WWE title is really good. I enjoy that. And the the main event, uh, the unsanctioned match. Probably should have main event the show, but... Uh, and probably my favourite away pay-per-view, uh, besides WrestleMania, Armageddon. This is great pay-per-view. Um, your main events, you had strong main events, like... World Heavyweight title, John Cena and Chris Jericho. That's a really good match. Uh, WWE title, Triple Threat, one of my favourite Triple Threat matches of all time. Edge, Triple H, Jeff Hardy, where, you know, the guy wins the WWE title, and uh, you all love it. And the other main event, really, was Batista and Randy Orton, which I thought was a bit anticlimactic. Uh, but I do think probably the second best match on the show is probably Rey Mysterio and CM Punk for the number one contendership to the Intercontinental title, which is a pretty good match, actually. So, um... Yeah, I'm getting away. The Triple Threat match and the uh, Ray Punk match are the two highlights for me. But the, the World Tire match I do really like. I think Jericho and Cena do really well. Alright, okay, let's take a break. Uh, we've got about half of my pay per views left. And we're only at the. What was it? Is that 10 minute? Yeah, Christ. I want to speed up a little bit. Alright, okay. WrestleMania 25, you need to know this for one reason. You need to own this, this special edition here. It's not, like, different. You get a steel book with it. Well, no, you get a cool book with it. You need to own this pay-per-view for one reason. Shawn Michaels and Undertaker is one of the best matches of all time. That's it. That's all I need to say. The other stuff is bleh, But that match is one of the best matches of all time. Backlash was better than WrestleMania, and it's one of my favourite pay-per-views of all time. Uh, last man standing for the world title, Edge and John Cena. Uh, ECW Championship match, Jack Swagger and Christian, probably my favourite match. I quit, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. And six man tag for the WWE title. Triple H, Batista and Shane McMahon against Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes and Ted Di DiBiase. So, legacy. So, that's, pretty, that's a really good pay per view. Uh, now, Champions 2009. Uh, pretty good show. I mean, uh, main events, Triple H 
Randy Orton and John Cena for the WWE title, CM Punk and Jeff Hardy for the world title. So and uh, Rey Mysterio and Dolph Ziggler is really good for the Intercontinental title. SummerSlam 09 uh, main events were Randy Orton and John Cena for the WWE title isn't too great. Tables, ladders, and chairs match Jeff Hardy and CM Punk is awesome. And the other main event really is DX versus Legacy, which is pretty entertaining match. It's a really good match. Uh, these pay per views like in a line, so it goes Night Champion, SummerSlam, Breaking Point. Uh, shouldn't have spoiled that. Breaking Point, 2009. Pretty solid show again. Like it was a pretty good show, even though I see it get hated on a lot. Uh, I quit match for the WWE title, Cena and Orton, which is really good. It's one of Orton's best matches. Uh, singles match for the world title, Punk and Taker, which they, I think, dropped the ball. And submissions count anywhere, DX versus Legacy, which is really good. So, uh, breaking up the best match, of course, is the Singapore Kane match between Carly and Kane. It's really good. Hell in a Cell 09, this is where it drops the ball. Uh, three other Cell matches, you've got DX and Legacy, CM Punk and Taker for the world title, and then Cena and Orton for the WWE title. That's all I remember from this show, really. The other matches are forgettable. Bragging Rights 2009, this is miles better than Hell in a Cell. Uh, you've got the one hour long Anything Goes Iron Man match between John Cena and Orton, which is pretty good, which is actually really good. Uh, Fatal Forward for the world title. Undertaker, CM Punk, Batista, and Rey Mysterio. And then you've got the Team SmackDown versus Team Raw match, 7-on-7 seven seven for bragging rights, where the team captains were DX and Kane and Jericho. And the last 2009 pay-per-view is a steel book, and it looks freaking awesome. Actually, no, I don't like the cover. I like the steel book, I just don't like the cover. Uh, so the main events here were WWE title, triple threat, John Cena versus Shawn Michaels versus Triple H, which is pretty good, and... World title, triple threat, Big Show, Jericho, Taker. Which, again, is pretty good. So, Survivor Series 09. That's about it, really, from Survivor Series 09. Oh, okay, we're nearly done. Up all in there. Move on to 2010, finally, and SummerSlam 2010. Uh, main events. So you've got Team Nexus versus Team WWE. Uh, John Cena, sorry. Randy Orton versus Sheamus for the WWE title, which I thought was a pretty good match, even though people seem to hate it. And Kane versus Rey Mysterio for the world title. Uh, that's about it. Everything else on there is just garbage. So, yeah. Some slide 2010. My other 2010 pay per view is Bragging Rights 2010. This pay per view was rubbish. Uh, Buried Alive match for the world title, Kane and Undertaker. WWE title, why didn't that main event in the show? Hmm. WWE title, Randy Orton vs Wade Barrett. Uh, and the, again, the SmackDown vs Raw match. <coughs> Pardon me. But the, the best match on this card by far, by far, is Champion vs Champion, Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan. That is a really good match. And you'd expect it to be. Ah, oh, okay. We move on to 2012, we skip over 2011 completely, and we have one of the week pay-per-views of 2012. Royal Rumble, uh, the main events, of course, the Royal Rumble match, which was won by a certain Irish person at the front of the case. Uh, and uh, WWE title was... Where the hell is it? Oh, CM Punk vs. Dolph Ziggler with John Laurinaitis as a special guest ref, probably the match of the night. And world title, triple threat, steel cage match, Daniel Bryan, Mark Henry, and Big Show. It's not very good. A whole pay of views. There's some rubbish on that card, but Ziggler and Punk's really good, though. Move on to 2014. We move two years on. I've got three from 2014, and the first one is Elimination Chamber 2014. I love this pay per view, but. There's so much rubbish on it. Uh, you've got three really bad matches on this show. Okay, let me. Okay, so you've got three matches. I think no, you've got two matches that are great. You've got the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE World Heavyweight Title, which is Cesaro, Christian, John Cena, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, and Sheamus. And then you've got the White versus the Shield, which is an outstanding six-man tag, probably the best six-man tag in years. 
Um, but then you've got rubbish like Darren Young and Titus O'Neil and Cameron and AJ and Batista and Del Rio. So it's about a 6 out of 10 overall because of that. But so uh, Elimination Chamber 2014. And straight after that we have WrestleMania 30 where of course you've got uh, the main events. Uh, there's, there's about four main events in this one which is probably a good thing again. Uh, but one of, everybody knows WrestleMania 30. They're not going to remember it for you know these matches though. So um, you had a uh, winner goes into the WWE World Heavyweight Title match, Daniel Bryan versus Triple H, and then you've got the WWE World Heavyweight Title match, which is Randy Orton and Batista versus winner of Daniel Bryan versus Triple H. Uh, then you've got Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, which uh, we all know, and uh, Brock Lesnar is one of my favorites of all time. So is Undertaker, but and then you've got John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Which is a pretty awesome match, actually. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good match, actually. Good ring psychology from Bray Wyatt. So, um, WrestleMania 30, which comes with the Hall of Fame, which Jake Roberts' speech is incredible. They're gonna fall. And my last pay per view is SummerSlam 2014. So, um, this is a really good show. Again, uh, the main events again were John Cena versus. Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Uh, Stephanie McMahon versus Brie Bella, which was a really good women's match. Um, and the other main event, really, to me, well, was Randy Orton and Roman Reigns, and the Lumberjack match between Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. So, awesome pay-per-view. Second best of 2014 behind WrestleMania. <sighs> Alright, we're at the... Uh, 26 minute mark and we finished the pay-per-views so I think this is going to be part one of the complete collection uh, This go Okay, so this will be part one um, Like comment. Thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe for more part two will be uploaded I'll record it basically straight after this. So thanks for watching guys. This has been part one of my wrestling DVD collection And uh, these have been the pay-per-views <laughs>